Do you have no idea what you're doing when it comes to studying for your AP Human Geography exam? Then be sure to watch this video until the end because we're about to go over how to study for your AP Human Geography exam. This video is brought to you by Albert. If you haven't already created your free account to start practicing for your AP Hug exam, be sure to do so using the link in the video description below. With it, you'll get detailed explanations as to why a particular question choice was right or wrong to help you score that four or five on your exam. Without further ado though, let's jump into today's video on how to study for AP Human Geography. The very first tip we have for you is to make sure that you're unpacking the structure of the AP Hug exam. When it comes to AP Human Geography, you're gonna have a section dedicated to multiple choice and another section dedicated to the free response section. For the multiple choice, you're gonna have about an hour to respond to 60 different questions. Whereas on the free response section, you're gonna have 75 minutes to answer three questions. This means that from a pacing standpoint, you're gonna have about a minute to respond to every multiple choice question and about 25 minutes to respond to every free response question. By understanding the general structure of the exam, you're gonna be able to pace yourself properly on your exam so that you can attempt every single question and also feel like you're in control and in the driver's seat as you're working through both respective sections. Our second tip when it comes to AP Hug is to make sure that you pick up a review resource, whether that's a Barron's Review Book or an online resource like Albert. With these sorts of resources, you'll be able to work through practice questions and see which topic areas you're struggling in and which topic Topic areas you're doing really well in. This will allow you to make the most of your limited study time so that you're only working on your biggest weaknesses as opposed to just practicing up on your strengths. Having review resources is also helpful because they can provide you with a different way of understanding a particular concept or principle than how your teacher or your textbook first introduced that concept. Aside from multiple choice practice, these resources will also provide things like free response practice, which will allow you to familiarize yourself more with the rubrics and the expectations of the AP graders. The third step when it comes to studying for your AP Human Geography exam is to make sure that you're creating an active set of flashcards. The best part about this is that a lot of the work has actually been done for you. If you go to a flashcard site like Quizlet, you can search for AP Human Geography flashcards that past students have already created. From there, you can vet that these flashcards are indeed correct and then start working through these sets of flashcards. We recommend blocking 15 to 30 minutes of review time every single day just so that these concepts stay fresh for you and that you're not cramming in those final days leading up to your AP Hug exam. One of the best things about a resource like Quizlet is that there's other formats than just flashcards to practice with. You can sometimes find true or false statements, multiple choice, and other formats that might be engaging for you. The fourth step that we recommend you taking when it comes to studying for AP Human Geography is to create a study journal of the different geographical regions that you're learning. This way, over the course of a school year, you're gonna have a library of different facts and key connections that relate to different geographical regions that you've studied. In this study journal, make sure that you're including not just basic facts about a region, but also how it connects to the other regions that you've already learned. If you're looking for a breakdown on the types of geographical regions, be sure to check out our accompanying blog article in the link in the video description below. One of the keys to success in AP Hug is demonstrating how you understand the connection between one region and another region and so on. Before we jump into tip number five, if you're finding this video helpful, do us a favor and hit that like button below. And also consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell for more AP review content like this. Step number five is to consider joining or forming an AP Human Geography study group. It can be super helpful to not study alone. This is because a collective group can make it easier to focus on just a particular section or topic. So what we recommend is that you get a study group that you can study with on a regular basis. This can be either weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly, depending on whatever works for your study group. The purpose of this time should be to review different things that some of you guys may not have fully understood the first time around and to potentially teach it to each other so that you can truly retain the information that you've learned from class. In terms of ways to do this, you might find it helpful to set up a Zoom or a Google Hangout for your study group to regularly meet. There's also online platforms like Conquer that are specifically designed for group studying. It's really important that as you start forming these regular study times, that you guys have an agenda for what you want to cover in each study session. This way, the time that you guys are spending together is productive and moves the needle for everybody in the study group. 
The sixth step that we recommend when it comes to studying for AP Human Geography is to follow along with some key AP Human Geography social media accounts. By doing so, you're going to be able to integrate human geography into your day-to-day -day life as you're just scrolling through your different feeds. You might find it helpful on Twitter to follow at AP Human Geog, or on Pinterest, there are a collection of AP Human Geography boards that might be useful to you. Thornton Academy's AP Human Geography Facebook page is also super nice, so be sure to check those guys out. When you're engaging with the content these accounts create, try to consider what you already knew and what might have been new to you. You're going to want to log anything that's interesting or new to you in a notes app or in a study journal. Step number seven is to engage in any human geography related media. There are a ton of review resources out there that are free for you to check out. For example, if you go on YouTube and search for AP Human Geography Crash Course, you're going to find a plethora of resources. Mr. Sin has some great review videos and even the Advanced Placement YouTube channel has some videos that you might find useful. If you're not so much a visual learner, but more of an auditory learner, you might find it helpful to check out some AP Human Geography podcasts. There are are a number of free human geography podcasts, all you got to do is just search for them on Google. We recommend that as you engage with these different sorts of media, that you have an active place to take notes or key takeaways from the thing that you're engaging with. This way, you'll be able to actively engage with whatever you're listening or watching to, and you'll have some helpful notes that you can refer to in those final days of study. Our next step is to create a review guide for geographic models as well as theories. Many past FRQs and multiple choice questions will refer to these different models and theories, so it's really important that you know these things cold. You not only need to know the definitions of these things, but how to apply it to real-world situations. This means understanding different models like the demographic transition model, the gravity model, and concentric circles. You also need to know things like Rostyle stages of growth or the Hoyt sector model. The best way to start your mastery of these different models and theories is to use that earlier Quizlet tip while also combining it to some real world applications by working through some past free response questions. Our final step is to manage your stress with a meditation app like Headspace or Calm. These sorts of apps can be helpful for you to take a step back and simply detox from the intense studying that you're doing for your AP Human Geography exam. By simply taking 15 to 30 minutes for yourself, it can do a lot for your mental acuity. One of the worst things you can do is psych yourself out with all the different things you have to review for AP Human Geography. So try not to burn out in your studying and pace yourself as you're working through your study plan. There you have it, nine steps to help you tackle your AP Human Geography exam. If you found this video helpful, do us a favor and hit that like button below. By doing so, you'll help more AP Hug students find this video on YouTube. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to check out our other AP Human Geography review videos on our channel. Consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell if you haven't already. You'll get more review content like this delivered to you. Lastly, if you haven't already created your free account on Albert to start practicing for your AP Human Geography exam, be sure to do so by using the link in the video description below. If you're a teacher happening to watch this video, be sure to check out our pilot program to learn how to use Albert with your school for free for 30 days. If you'd like to reference these tips and tricks later on, bookmark this video or check out the accompanying blog article in the link in the video description below. That's everything on my end. Hope you guys score that four or five and I will catch you guys next time.